So just so everybody understands, students do their stories. They submit them. They, they get reviewed, and then they get posted. They are in the running for StoryFest. We have judges. They look at them in these categories. First category, most compelling character, right? You can't tell a story without a character. Navigating climate change through song, a Q&A with Pine Grove's Even Stephens Hall, uh, Ryan Bieber, Ithaca College. Uh, Plantita Power, microgreens in the district, as in the District of Columbia. Jennifer Kuyuch, she's a George Washington University student. Should you be taking pictures of roadkill? <laughs> Citizen Science AIDS yeah. research efforts. That's Clarice Skinny from SUNY Plattsburgh. I built my dream. Southeast Asian woman grows local food, cultural acceptance in Missouri Ozarks by Lauren Ulrich, Indiana University Bloomington. And the winner is? Should we do the envelope, please? The envelope, please. Very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, only not. <laughs> okay. So, I'm supposed to read this. Read right? that and then that. <laughs> okay, so the most compelling character winner is Jennifer Kuyuch. 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 Did I pronounce that correctly? <laughs> Where is, is Jennifer in the room? Where's Jennifer? All right. Okay. So, Go ahead. So through our warm interviews and vibrant use of music and graphics, uh, the judges say Jennifer not only conveys the character of Plant, uh, Plantina Power's founder, Steph, but also their community and spirit of care and life plants that All they right. cultivate. Great. Okay. All right. Next, con congratulations, Jennifer. Next, next uh, category, most creative story. Coastal Child, a video essay on ocean conservation and education. Caitlin Copland, Eckerd College. Um, Coastal Degradation Through Fresh Eyes, a picture book come to life by Delaney Graham of About SUNY ESF. SUNY ESF, welcoming our feathered neighbors, Paula Milikova and Maya Thompson, University of California, Berkeley. Ice Plant Equals Climate Change, uh, Cameron J. U. Mock from Middlebury College. Okay, Sven, you get another envelope, most creative is? story. Most creative story. Our winners. Don't you feel sad sometimes that there have to be winners and oh, losers? Oh, can I tell you? Can I tell <laughs> Everyone's you? Everyone's a winner. Everybody, Everybody's a winner. All of our finalists should be winners. Winner. All right? But all right. judges had to pick one. <coughs> uh, and the winner is? The winner is Delaney Graham. So, a thoroughly absorbing story built around storybook characters. Amka's friend is a puffin <laughs> who is homeless because of coastal erosion. They embark on a journey of discovery and hope. The story works and the characters pop. The judges are taken by the character and the content. Brilliant. Congratulations. A homeless puffin. Oh. Well, you know. <laughs> Next category is? Best scalable innovation. Okay, water is life. Toi Ina. Groundwork to Solving Water Inequity on the Navajo Nation, Mackenzie Allen Charmley, Cronkite School, Arizona State University. How Trees Can Save a Drowning Desert, uh, Farzana Comas, George Washington University. What Does Three Million Dollars of Seaweed Look Like? Michaela Campo, George Washington University. College Food Insecurity, Eating Away at Student Success, Connor Gervis, University of Wisconsin-Madison. As Arizona agriculture runs dry, New irrigation tech could help. Diana Quintero, Cronkite School, Arizona State University. The winner is? And the, wait, wait. <laughs> gotta get the right envelope. I gotta get the right envelope. This <laughs> would be wrong, right? Best scalable innovation. There we go, best scalable innovation. <clears throat> uh, didn't something happen at the Academy Awards with the wrong envelope? <laughs> uh, totally. Let's not do that. That's not. Uh, okay, so the winner is Farzona Comnas. Yeah. Did I pronounce that correctly? Uh, beautifully written and photographed, this story is, is, a personal, is personal to Farzana, uh, focusing on deserts in her native country of Jordan. They're becoming hotter and drier as a result of climate change. Farzana proposes planting forests and desert sound impossible. She cites an uh, initiative in Lebanon that has done just that. The practice is called Afforestation Project. Drawdown rates it 15th, about the mo most significant steps we could take to reverse global warming. The judges say the story delivers. Nice. Fantastic. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, best use of science and data. Okay, this is important. 
Breakthrough research takes a step towards converting carbon dioxide pollution into fuel. Hannah Krantz, George Washington University. Mammoth resurrection may be a climate solution. Should it be? Skylar Epstein, George Washington University. Hope flows through the heart of Tucson. Haley Hughes, the University of Arizona. And Fishing Harbor's community, development and climate change threaten it. Carter Weinhofer, Eckerd College. Best use of science and data. And the winner the is... The winner is Hallie Hughes, University of Arizona. <laughs> I'm making a real mess here, but uh, <laughs> the judges say Hallie... We'll Britain, recycle all <laughs> brings the science and data to real world life in her story about the Santa Cruz River Heritage Project, a trickle of water that represents enormous change. The story captures the heart and soul of the living desert. As Halley writes, making Tucson more drought resilient, conserving water resources, supporting critical biodiversity, connecting a city to its heritage, and educating a new generation. Bravo, okay, and finally, our last category. Best science narrative. First we have Eternity is Upstream, a call for salmon habitat protection. Claire Babbitt Bryan, Millbury College. A tale of two mountains, battling climate change and wildfires at home and abroad. Ryan Bieber, Ithaca College. Bats are facing an epidemic of their own, white no nose syndrome. Helen Bradshaw, Northwestern University. Uh, in Search of Roommate That Pays Rent in Nutrients and Water, Michaela Campo, George Washington University. Planting Seeds of Mental Health Wellness in the Face of COVID-19 Stressors, Poonam Nartham, Northwestern University. And the final envelope, please. All right. Uh, best Science Narrative goes to Ryan Bieber, Ithaca College. Okay, the judges say Ryan weaves a compelling narrative built on the science. Uh, it is a tale of two Sierras. The, in California, the Sierra Nevada has experienced nine out of 10 of the state's largest wildfire, uh, wildfires in the last decade. In Spain, mono, uh, monoculture replanting in the uh, Sierra Nevada became a fire trap. This story is a compelling narrative of learning and loss showing distinct ways that human activity has led to the devastating wildfires. All right, congratulations. Hey, do we have our, some of our winners here? Come on out, how about a quick picture? All right.